So here's some logic for you. Complain about how Call of Duty games don't change at all, but actually when developers do try to implement some change, still complain and say that Call of Duty games still haven't changed. <laughs> What is up guys, it's me Joshua once again, and yeah, I know I'm going to be making a Call of Duty video, but it's important, I think you should stick around because I'm going to go ahead and explain all the different things that were shown in the reveal trailer and the behind the scenes trailer, and I'm going to break them down and explain why all these things add up to a Call of Duty that's going to be released, and it's going to actually be different, at least in some ways, apart from the Call of Duties that were released in the past. Now, um, the funny thing is, is everybody wants to complain how Call of Duty isn't been changing, and there's a lot of merit to that statement right there. But taking an in-depth look of what the trailers offer, especially the behind-the-scenes trailer that was revealed at the Xbox One reveal, actually tells a whole lot to what they're actually trying to accomplish with this new Call of Duty. And it seems really strange that people would go ahead and still say that Call of Duty is not changing, but let me go ahead and say that do you not think that leaning as you lean out and lean in and get a better view of the battlefield a mantle system the new mantle system so that when you're running quickly and you hit a wall you get this nice boom you hit it and you leap and you go and you just maintain your momentum new sliding techniques another feature that we're working on with animation is the slide it allows you to get somewhere quickly get out of the line of fire and at the same time do it in a really cool looking way. New graphical rendering techniques. We have a new tech in the game, Sub-D. The idea is, is the closer you get to it, the more it tries to maintain any curvature that you see. This is very helpful on weapons, helmets for characters, and makes a huge difference for visual fidelity, what the player sees from a distance as well as close up. Um, dynamic maps. These new MP features that I'm most excited about is dynamic maps. We have everything from big earthquakes and floods down to player-driven actions. Doors, explosive traps, things that change the flow of the map. All of this creates a new dynamic experience for the player. A really rigorous, customizable character. Another new feature is character customization. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. You can connect with who you are as a player more so than we've ever done in the past. And a plethora of other things are not something new. I really, I just can't get my head around it because people are keep complaining and saying that the Call of Duty trailer wasn't interesting at all. And I would have to disagree with them because all these new things, especially the new mantle system, the leaning, the sliding, are actually going to change the core gameplay mechanic of how players navigate maps and even how they interact with each other, you know, in one-on-one -on -one encounters. Dynamic maps actually can change the gameplay or the game flow, and this is especially important in objective types. Now, customizable characters are really interesting. I'm, I'm, that's not exactly for me, but, you know, it can be a more personal experience, and I forgot to mention storytelling. They're really going all out with the storytelling, especially trying to make a dynamic, immersive experience in which one you actually care about as well. And all these things together, I think, add up to a Call of Duty that is going to be something new. And at least, maybe not a total game changer with shooters, but at least something new in the sense that it deviates from this formula that they've been stuck on for the last, I don't know, five years, six years, give or take, I don't know. But yeah, um, the videos that I'm going to be um, showing off in this video, of course, are linked in the description below. Um, but yeah, check them out for yourself. Tell me what you think in the comments if you want. But that, guys, that's about all I got for you today. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.